Hi, my name is Enoch Duffer from Pong, and this is Graphic Online's News in Brief, brought to you by... Simply download the Graphic News app from your Google Play Store and get your digital news from your favorite daily graphic, graphic business, the mirror, graphic showbiz, junior graphic, and graphic sports. Now, isn't that easy? Subscribe to any of our daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually, or annual bundles and choose your payment option. Graphic News app, connecting people through the news. Coming up, Ministry of Communication says everybody should re-register their mobile numbers by June 2020. Mobile network operators want eight weeks to stop upfront talk tax deductions. Ashanti NDC says President Akufuado's regional tours are a waste of resources. And Amnesty International wants Ghana to abolish the death penalty. The Ministry of Communications has announced that all mobile phone users will have to re-register their same numbers between January 1 and June 30, 2020, or lose the numbers as they will be deactivated. According to the minister, Ghana enacted the SIM registration regulations in 2011, primarily to reduce mobile phone-related crimes, such as prank calls, cybercrime, mobile money fraud, and its related issues and general security. However, it has not been enforced due to the lack of an acceptable fake-proof identification card and non-existence of verification by a national database to ensure the traceability of the individual who registered the SIM card. The communications minister at a press conference in Accra today explained that the valid ID cards for the new registration will include driver's license, SNITs, passports and the Ghana card. The ministry has consulted all relevant stakeholders and hereby announces that from 1st January 2020, we will all be required to re-register our SIM cards. Any SIM card which is not registered will be deactivated by June 2020, giving a six-month time frame for this exercise. We entreat all citizens, residents and visitors to cooperate with us to ensure the success of this exercise for our collective security. Meanwhile, at the same press briefing today, the communications minister said the mobile network operators have asked that they should be allowed to use six to eight weeks to reconfigure their systems to enable them comply with the directive to halt the upfront deduction of the communications service tax. They are asking for six to eight weeks to enable them to reconfigure their intelligent network systems to be able to apply the tax as they apply that NMHI. The Ministry of Finance and GRA has informed them that the tax is payable from the 4th of September. From the 4th of September to date, they have been deducting this tax upfront. We say it is an irregular way of deducting taxes because it flies against industry practice. President Nana Adudankwa Akufuado has been embarking on regional tours to familiarize himself with the work on the ground. This year alone, he has so far visited eight regions after completing an eight-day tour of Buno, Ashanti and Eastern regions last week. However, this morning, the Ashanti Regional Branch of the Opposition National Democratic Congress held a press conference and described the President tour as a waste of resources. President tour has ended and inhabitants of the Ashanti region are still struggling to figure out why the President will carry an entourage of about 200 people and 70 V8 from Accra just to inspect ordinary and petty projects. As we witnessed during President Akufuado's just ended tour, the president rather bizarrely expended millions of taxpayers' money on inspecting low grade projects in a complete exercise of mediocrity laced with pomp and pageantry. A short while ago, President Akufuado returned to the Jubilee House Accra to continue work after an eight-day tour of three regions covering about 42 main stops. That brings to 14 the number of regions he has visited so far this year 2019. The President's tour in the Buno, Ashanti and Eastern regions afforded him the opportunity to witness at first hand the progress of work in these regions on his administration's flagship programs. 
The tour also afforded him an opportunity to hear directly from citizens, interest groups, and traditional rulers who gave him valuable insights into what they make of his administration's delivery so far and what more they want him to focus on before the year is over. The Chief Executive Officer of Consumer Protection Agency, Mr. Kofi Capito, is in the news for passing comments deemed as sexual harassment after he commented about the physique of a newscaster before presenting an award at the 2019 Radio and Television Personality Awards. Before carrying out his duties, he saw GH1 newscaster Sewa Amihe seated in the audience and made his controversial comments about her. In the aftermath of the awards, Ms. Amihe took to Twitter to describe the comments as a classic case of sexual harassment. The Ghana Office of Amnesty International, the Human Rights Group, has reiterated its calls on government to abolish the death penalty. Mr. Samuel Komsa Agboche, the campaigns and fundraising coordinator of Amnesty International Ghana, says abolishing the inhuman penalty will lift a heavy burden of families of people on death row. According to Mr. Agboche, Abolishing the death penalty will reduce the impact of the capital punishment, particularly on the children of persons sentenced to death. He explained that abolishing the obnoxious death penalty will also be in keeping with recommendations by the Constitutional Review Commission. Mr. Agboche was speaking at a campaign in Accra on the theme, Children, Unseen Victims of Death Penalty, to mark the 17th World Day Against Death Penalty. We want the death penalty to be abolished because the right to life is a fundamental right. And you know, life is only one. You don't have a spare to use and the, follow, the following day you can go for the other one. No, it's just one. And research has shown that the death penalty, there are, there are schools of thought. People think that the death penalty scared crime. Look at Ghana. The, book, the, the death penalty continues to be in the book. But crime rate is, is still increasing. For more news, Log on to graphic.com.gh. Follow us via Facebook at Daily Graphic, YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I am Enoch Dafa Frimpon.